Welcome to an example on how to solve a linear first order differential equation using an integrating factor. The integrating factor is a function that if we multiply both sides of the equation by, it makes it much easier to solve the differential equation. So the first step is to make sure the given differential equation is in the form shown here, dy dt plus p of t times y equals f of t. Looking at the given differential equation, notice how it's already in this form. Let's replace y of t with dy dt. So we have dy dt plus five y equals e raised to the power of four t. So looking at the form of the differential equation again, notice how p of t times y is the term five y, so p of t equals five. This is important because for step two, we want to find the integrating factor, which is the function that we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by. And the integrating factor is mu of t, equals e raised to the power of the integral of p of t dt. So again, p of t is equal to five, which means integrating factor mu of t is equal to e raised to the power of the integral of p of t, which is five dt. With the integral of five with respect to t is five t, which means integrating factor mu of t equals e raised to the power of five t. So step three, we now multiply both sides of the equation by mu of t and write the differential equation in this form here. So again, because the integrating factor is e raised to the power of five t, we multiply both sides of the equation by e raised to the power of five t, so we'd have e raised to the power of five t times dy dt plus p of t, which we know is five, times mu of t, which is e, raised to the power of five t times y equals mu of t times f of t, which is the function on the right. So we'd have e raised to the power of five t times e to the power of four t. Let's go ahead and simplify the right side of this equation and write this as e raised to the power of nine t. When the bases are the same in multiplying, we add the exponents. Now that we've multiplied both sides of the equation by mu of t, the left side of the equation is now the derivative of the product of mu of t and y, which means we can write the left side of this equation as a derivative with respect to t of, again, mu of t times y, which is e raised to the power of five t times y. Notice how if we did want to find this derivative, we'd have to apply the product rule. We'd have the first function, e raised to the power of five t times the derivative of y, which is dy dt plus the second function, which is y, times the derivative of e raised to the power of five t, which is five times e raised to the power of five t, which still equals the right side, which is e raised to the power of nine t. And now for the last step, we integrate both sides of the equation and solve for y. So we'd have the integral of the derivative with respect to t of e raised to the power of five t times y integrated with respect to t equals the integral of e raised to the power of nine t dt. Let's go and evaluate this on the next slide. On the left side, the integral and the derivative undo each other, and we're just left with e raised to the power of five t times y equals, on the right side, we'll have to perform u substitution, where we'd have u equals nine t, and therefore differential u is equal to nine dt. So dividing both sides by nine, Notice how one-ninth du is equal to dt, which means in terms of u, this would be the integral of one-ninth e to the u du. Therefore, with respect to t, the integral is one-ninth e to the nine t. So we have one-ninth e to the nine t, of course, plus c, the constant of integration. And now by solving this equation for y, we have our solution to the given differential equation. So now we'll divide both sides of the equation by e raised to the power of five t. So simplifying, we get y or y of t equals on the right side, when dividing the bases are the same, we subtract the exponents. This is one-ninth e raised to the power of nine t minus five t, that's four t. And for this last term, we could leave it in this form, 
But if we didn't want this in fraction form, we could write this as c times e raised to the power of negative five t. If we have a term with an exponent and we move it across the fraction bar, it does change the sign of the exponent. So we can write this as plus c times e raised to the power of negative five t. I hope you found this helpful.